welcome back to Garner Reviews. We are once again out in the tool shed today. We're going to be doing a more thorough review of the Makita. This is the MAC100Q um, or MAC100Q. Uh, this is an incredibly small, lightweight, but very capable air compressor that is just immensely quiet. It is really impressive what Makita has been able to do. Um, you can see the rating on here. I think it says like 58 decibels, somewhere around there. Um, I haven't actually tested that, but I will say I was using this indoors. We were doing a bunch of finish um, trim install, and this thing was just an absolute delight. I can say this right here running, um, especially if it was like on a carpeted floor or something like that, uh, almost couldn't be heard. I mean, it's so much more, so much quieter than a uh, vacuum cleaner or something. And honestly, like the pneumatic uh, nailer, way louder, way more disturbing for um, the homeowner and the user compared to this thing. Even on hardwood surfaces with the uh, rubber feet here, this thing is an absolute dream and it is just so nice to use. So uh, I think I went over the specs originally on this little guy. Uh, it's a half a horsepower. It puts out about, uh, I think they're saying, yeah, 0.7 CFM at 90 um, PSI. And I believe this is a half gallon tank. Maybe it's one gallon, somewhere in there. Um, so it's not got tremendous uh, capacity, but for doing something like 18 gauge um, finish work on trim, anything like that, this thing is just incredibly, um, incredibly well suited for it. So it doesn't fire off too often. And when it does, it um, refills that tank really pretty rapidly. And it does so very quietly. Again, I can't just, it is so nice to use a machine like this that is just this quiet. Um, I can do a quick demonstration. I think I did that for you guys in the previous um, video when I unboxed this thing, just because I was so impressed. But let me get some power, it's not too far here. And I'll just show you really quickly what this thing sounds like. Make sure that's closed now. Uh, you got your switch here on the side, uh, you roll it up and it's gonna fire on. And uh, that's it, honestly, the loudest part is that initial fire up when it's uh, basically pressurizing everything and getting everything sealed up there. Now, running, I haven't changed my voice at all, the volume of my voice, and I'm sure that you guys can probably hear me pretty well over this thing. But it's just, again, super easy, super quiet, and just very, very nice to use. Uh, you got your adjustments here. It's got a single uh, spot to hook up your air hose. Um, you got your gauges, all the good stuff, but again, this is it. This is as loud as it's going to get, and this is probably louder than if I was to put it on the floor. I'm up on a wood bench top here, so there could be some additional echo coming through the actual tabletop, um, but this thing is just incredible. And you can see it's building up pressure. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, maybe about a minute, minute and a half to get it up to... Uh, I think I had this set around 90. It probably got bumped, but uh, real easy, real easy to adjust and get set. So, but that's it. Honestly, if I was gonna try and persuade anyone on getting this thing, I would recommend it 100%. That was it. That was the full thing. A little bit of a um, relief there at the end, but it is good to go. What did it build to? So it looks like it's sitting right around 90 psi, and then the tank pressure. Uh, I can't see, like 125, I think is what it's building to, somewhere in there. Um, again, this thing is just incredible, incredible. I used it exclusively with this uh, Flexzilla. Um, this is a 25 foot and it's a 3 8 uh, air hose. This worked incredibly well. I actually really like this material that Flexzilla uses. I'm sure there's other companies using it, but it is just, it's super nice. It um, appears like it's non-marring. Um, I didn't have any issues with it rubbing on anything and leaving marks. And it's uh, once you get it kind of straightened out and rolled out real quick in the in the morning and stuff like that, it's pretty stays pretty straight all day. You don't have a lot of issues with kinking or anything like that with this. So this will be a short one because honestly, there's just not a whole lot to say. If you're doing anything where you don't need a giant um, amount of airflow, you don't need really high CFM. You're using something like a pin nailer, an 18 gauge, anything like that. Um, this thing indoors, absolute dream. I would recommend it a hundred percent. Um, the only downside and it's not the tool. It was me not really like thinking it through. 
I probably, Makita offers, I believe it's the MAC, I'll have to look up the model numbers. I'll put them down in the link in the description, but they basically offer two more sizes above this and they get slightly louder. I think they both hover around 60 decibels. So it is gonna be a slightly louder machine, but they do have higher CFM and capacity built in. And um, while you don't need it for like all the finish work, uh, if you guys saw my, one of my previous videos, I have that Ease Texture Pro setup, um, Ease Pro Texture, I think is what they call it. And that requires just a little bit more than this will deliver. And so being able to use like one air compressor to do that kind of work, um, where you're doing drywall repair, doing a real quick texture job, or you're installing um, uh, finish, uh, trim, anything like that. Um, so I made the mistake, I didn't probably, I should have gotten maybe the next size up or maybe the largest size. But honestly, for this for this package, the weight of it and everything, I think this is like, I don't know, it's like 30, 25, 30 pounds, something like that. Um, so if you know you're going into a job and you don't need any more capacity, I would still probably say just get both machines. They're very reasonably priced as well. Um, so maybe get a couple of them. And then when you don't need the larger one, save your back, save your ears, <laughs> just save all the headache. Grab this little guy go in, rock on on the job. And then uh, if you need something more, grab the slightly bigger one. I think even the largest one, it's kind of a similar form factor. It's obviously a little bit bigger, but kind of similar setup here. And then it's uh, around 50 pounds. So it's heavier. It's no doubt it's it's a bigger unit, but still very quiet and still very um, compact and reasonable in terms of weight and everything. So Makita nailed it They're out of the park on this one. I know there's some other brands out there. Roll Air makes, I think, one that's really similar size to this. Very low decibel rating as well. And I'm sure there's a bunch. Um, and as a matter of fact, why don't you guys comment down below. Let me know what air compressors you guys use. Specifically, if they're like a quiet, a quiet series um, style compressor. And let me know what you guys think. What, like, you guys use Roll Air. I know California Air has some great ones. There's probably a whole bunch of them out there. So let me know what you guys think um, and what you guys are actually using on the job site. But um, this thing just makes pneumatic so much better. The, the quiet, I mean, that for me has always been the, probably the most aggravating thing with, uh, with pneumatic. I mean, hoses can be aggravating, but um, honestly, just the constant running and the loud um, noise that they used to produce, that was for me just, what really did it in. So I'm super pleased with this. Again, I will drop uh, links in the description for this as well as the other uh, two sizes. And you guys let me know what you think. And I will catch you guys in the next one.